Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, you are about to witness a solo road trip that I took and camped slash lived out of my truck all the way down the entire East Coast. It is one of the craziest trips I've ever been on. You guys are gonna witness me meeting up with a lot of old friends that I've seen before. And then you're also gonna witness me meeting a lot of new people, a lot of new states and cities. And it is just an unbelievable trip that I'm so excited to share with you guys. A bunch of behind the scenes footage that wasn't in the other videos that I've put out because I knew when I was going on the trip, I wanted to post a long form video. So I kept a little of the behind the scenes footage out of the other videos. So if you guys are watching this video, you're gonna see a lot of behind the scenes stuff and I'm really excited to put it out. Make sure you sit back, relax, maybe pause the video, grab yourself a drink or a snack, whatever your heart desires. It's kind of almost like watching a movie. So very proud of this video. I know you guys are gonna enjoy it. If you wanna support the gas fund, make sure to head over to googansquad.com. Use my code Becca at checkout. They are the only sponsor of the channel and they support me tremendously. And if you guys use my code at checkout, you're doing a lot of good for me. So I appreciate everyone that has. Also, happy holidays. Can't say that enough. I know Christmas is right around the corner when this comes out. So just get ready. This is a really good video. Very proud of it. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Go check out googansquad.com. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah. Now let's get into it. Seventeen hours and twelve hundred and fifty one miles. It is five twenty AM. Welcome to Connecticut. Welcome to Connecticut. Here we are, we're officially starting our 1200 mile road trip. This is the beginning, and yes, we do indeed have an end goal of where we're gonna end up, but that's for me to worry about. You guys will find out quite soon though. Right now, I am in New Jersey. If you guys didn't know, I'm from Rhode Island. We started from Rhode Island this morning with just under 18 hours in the drive. Right now, we're at like 14 and a half hours left in our adventure. But my biggest worry this morning was to get through New York City and some of the New Jersey Turnpike because those are my least favorite roads ever. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure we got through that before. And now I feel much better. Rhode Island is right here. This is indeed the state that I live in. I live in about, I would say Northern Rhode Island. We went through all of Connecticut. We went through this little section of New York City right here. And I would say we're probably around here. So we're almost in Pennsylvania. And then we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna continue down. I have driven very, very far by myself plenty of times. But 18 hours is definitely going to be my longest solo ever. Lila and I drove to Florida last summer, which was 22 hours of driving. And I would say I did about 70% of the driving and she did about 30% of the driving. So I'm very confident that I'm capable of doing this by myself. Am I going to make it to our final destination tonight? Probably not. I'm thinking we're gonna get stuck somewhere in Richmond, Virginia area, but preferably I'd like to go even further than that, but we'll see. We're just gonna drive all day. The first thing you guys saw this morning was at 6 a.m. It's now 10 o'clock. I have taken two stops because I wanted breakfast and I wanted coffee and now we're on the road. We're in New Jersey right now. Let's head to Pennsylvania and let's keep going south. Not saying that our final destination is Florida down there, because I know you guys are probably all thinking Florida because I'm going down the coast, but the state that we're going to isn't even on that map I just showed you guys. We have 14 hours to go and we are in Baltimore, Maryland. I believe Maryland is known for crabs. Like I'm pretty positive that's like the blue crab's capital of the world, basically.
by saying this trip is kind of on a whim. Yes, I have certain things planned, but for the most part, we're just going. I'm gonna end up probably in Atlanta, Georgia. I'd love to go to Charleston. I'm going to Richmond, Virginia. I'm gonna hit a bunch of cities, a bunch of towns, and meet up with a couple of people. I have enough clothes, resources, and everything you'd possibly imagine for me to live out of this truck for months and months and forever if I really needed to. So we're just going with the flow. Crab Shack. Fat Boy's Crab House. <laughs> <laughs> and liquor store. Crabs. Right now we are in Virginia. It's a lot of driving, but I think I might be able to make it to Charlotte, North Carolina tonight. I'm gonna make some food. We're gonna go to Aldi's, hang out in Richmond, Virginia for a little bit and see if I can make it. I don't wanna push myself too much. Not the best haul at all. Mine, my Aldi's back at home is so much better. <laughs> I don't really know what to do. I'm not comfortable cooking here at all because it is kind of a little, a uh, little bit of a sketchier area. So I definitely don't want to cook here. So I'm just going to drive until I tap out and I'm really hungry. Then we can cook up the concoction of food that I just bought because it is a interesting assortment of food I purchased. 48 more minutes, 61 more miles. I listened to my gut and my gut was telling me that Richmond, Virginia was not a place I wanted to camp. So I kind of told myself I needed to make it to North Carolina tonight. I don't know how to pronounce the town or city, so I apologize. I think it's Rayleigh, Raleigh, I, I don't know which is absolutely crazy how many miles that we covered today. So really proud of ourselves, but I'm starving, exhausted, and just quite frankly, really want, I just want to walk around. I need to stretch my legs, but I refuse to stop until I get to North Carolina. I don't know why. Woo! That said, welcome to North Carolina, baby. As I'm pulling down this road, it is almost too good to be true that this camping spot is free. So I just asked these two really nice gentlemen walking and I was like, are you sure like this, this is free? And he was like, yeah, it's a free campsite. I would have never, this isn't mapped. It's nothing. I just found it on that website. It's that's, we, we lucked out heavily. What a day and what an absolute gem of a find that I just had. This is going to be an awesome spot tonight and I'm going to sleep really well here knowing that this is a pretty safe spot. I might pull forward a little bit, but this is so sick. There's a fire pit at every single little pull off. So this is our little setup. I probably won't use it tonight, maybe in the morning, depends. And then obviously here's the beautiful truck camping set up oh it is time to get cooking i can't believe we made it to north carolina tonight
not fancy, but she'll do. Well, I guess we have to taste it first. Whoa. I put a lot of cheese on it and it makes a huge difference. We didn't have time to get fancy. I'm just happy to be here. Time to get her locked up for the night. All right, this morning, ignore my rusty knife, but <laughs> This morning, we started all the way over here in northern Rhode Island, went through Connecticut, New York, blah, 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 Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey, Washington, D.C., and then we went through Richmond, Virginia, which I did not enjoy, gave me kind of a weird, I don't know, especially the area that I went in, I didn't feel that safe, so I was like, you know what, whatever, went on my phone and then found a campsite right around here. We're, so we're still in Northern North Carolina, and then tomorrow I would love to get through South Carolina, and maybe we spend tomorrow night in Atlanta. I'm not quite sure. We should have almost been to Atlanta tonight, but um, there was so much traffic in the New Jersey Turnpike, and there was so much traffic in New York, but we are officially in North Carolina. I think we drove about 12 hours this morning. I think we drove about 12 hours. I left around 5 and then we just got here a little bit after 6, like 6.03 or something. So yeah, it's, it was a 12 hour day of driving and we still have nine and a half more hours to go until we get to where we need to be. How are we going to hit the hay? Hello, North Carolina. Good night, North Carolina. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Rise and shine. It's um, it's currently like 7.45. I fell asleep last night at like 7, maybe even 6.30. <laughs> so that means we slept with, we got 12 plus hours of sleep. <laughs> yeah, um, that was crazy. I was exhausted. I wasn't kidding. So now today, we continue. We continue. No giving up. Keeping, uh... Keep going, keep going, folks. We got an end goal in mind and we can't stop right now, that's for sure. I look a mess, I'm, I apologize, but I quickly wanted to also say, I've been thinking a lot and it's, I'm very thankful that I have people that made it so hard to leave like, I feel like, I, I, including myself, I'm looking at this as, wow, like, I'm not strong enough to leave, blah, 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 which I am because I left to go on this trip. But it's like, no, you got to think about it. It's like the people in your life are making it so much harder to leave. And that is such a positive thing. Like, I'm very grateful that I have people in my life that do make it a little bit more difficult to leave because, you know, I have people that carry love for me, which is so cool. I don't know, it just took a lot out of me to leave for this trip. I, I I don't know why. I thought it was gonna be super easy to leave and then right before I left it like all hit me and I was like, wow, like this is crazy. <laughs> don't don't be scared to go on these trips, I promise you. No one's going anywhere and when you get home, you get home. I recommend it to pretty much anyone to just pick up and go. Like 
man last night i had a little bit of a worry of where i was gonna sleep considering i've never been in this area in my entire life but i did it and i'm so happy that i did because we ended up finding a really good camp spot and everything's gonna happen for a reason so just do your part in life and figure out what you want if you want to go on a road trip go on a road trip if you want to go explore places go explore places like you want to go catch that 10 pound bass go catch that 10 pound bass you know you gotta have it in your mindset you have to stay so positive i don't know what i'm really getting at right now but i'm just trying to get at the fact that i worry a lot in life about things i too much more than the average person i overthink everything and I'm finally getting to the point in my life where I'm trying to stop that because I've, I've realized it and I've acknowledged it and it sucks. I tell myself every day to stop worrying about things and just do it and those are always the most fun and, and the most cool stories ever and just as long as you're safe, do it. Stop listening to that little voice in your head telling you that you're scared and you, and you know. No, stop listening to that little voice in your head that's telling you you should be scared and what if this goes wrong, what if that goes wrong. We'll never know what goes wrong unless you just do it. Get out of your comfort zone is the best thing I can say to you guys right now. I'm so happy I just pulled the trigger and I left. There's so many things telling me don't do it. You know, your truck won't make it. What if your transmission finally blows after that mistake we had? What if what if your truck cap won't work and blah, blah, blah. What about all the bugs that are probably gonna get into your truck cap now since your, your window doesn't work? Whatever, who the hell cares? Because I don't know the answers to those questions unless I try. So, I don't know. It's just a lot of thoughts. I'm very blessed. I had people that made it so hard for me to leave on this trip. But I'm so happy that I left to go on this trip. Because I'm going to be on the road for quite some time. And I'm so excited to find myself and explore things about myself that I've never even knew. You know? I also look like I got hit by a bus this morning. I'm going to do my hair for you guys so the next time you guys see me, I look a little bit better. For, for my sake. Not just yours. All right, let's get to South Carolina. Let's get out of North Carolina, which is gonna take me a couple of hours, but we got this. I need to find a, like, a little section where I can just pull over and like get dressed because I want to get ready for the day and like changed kind of freshen up a little bit but in order to do that I can't really do it in this gas station I gotta find a spot welcome center free reservations travel services <laughs> that was a terrible filming job but we are officially in South Carolina so goodbye North Carolina thank you for last night South Carolina we officially did it we got to another state the goal is to get to Georgia though. We still have four and a half hours and it says we'll be there around 3.30. So hopefully we get to Georgia tonight. Just keep on driving and see how far we get. I'll keep you guys updated if anything exciting happens. It looks like it's gonna downpour, but I'm not quite sure. It may or may not rain, we'll see. But I'll see you guys hopefully in Georgia. Officially in Georgia. Woo! Welcome to Georgia, baby. I don't see any signs here, but we're in such a residential area. I'm definitely a little nervous. So I'm going to get everything I can pretty quickly and start fishing before someone says I can't be here, but I don't see any signs right now, at least at this spot. There we go. Oh yeah, first fish of the trip. Let's go! Wow, that is a super, super skinny fish. Well, wow, so skinny. The truck is literally right there. That's awesome. First fish of the trip. Thank you, bud. I appreciate you. We got a fish. 
We're somewhere in Noonan, Noonan, Georgia. It's beautiful. There's so much to do here. It's crazy. And I'm gonna grab some food and then there's a Starbucks and a Panera right over here where I can go and edit and you know do a little, little computer work and whatnot because I have to upload a video for you guys as in like yesterday but I can't find any Wi-Fi anywhere so that's been an issue but it's it's fine we're gonna work through that we're gonna find Wi-Fi hopefully like literally right now Golden Corral oh my god there's really gorgeous I thought that was a myth that they existed. Anyways, we caught a fish. Sun's going down. My mom got nervous and told me to book a hotel because I have no idea where I'm camping tonight. Mom, I know you're watching this. I will be safe. Now, with that being said, let's go get some food. Thank you, Panera Bread. Free Wi-Fi is the best thing ever created. All right, we got one camper, we got two camper. If you can't see, we are at Walmart. I think I might camp with these guys. And it, ooh, that's, a, that's totally someone sleeping in that van. Not to be creepy, but there's no shot someone's not asleep in that van. That's totally a camper. I love when I also see other campers camping in a spot that I'm about to camp because it's like, yes, take advantage of these free campsites. Campsites. But still, I mean, why are you going to go somewhere? Like, there's a campsite down the street. I always look to see what's nearby, and there's a campsite down the street. 40 bucks for the night. For, for what, ma'am? To breathe the same air as other campers? I don't get it. Campsites are outrageously expensive. We didn't get crazy lucky for a campsite tonight like we did last night. I did more research and the place that we slept last night is a campground only like five months out of the year and it's for hunting so that's where people park and hunt at night or overnight and all that fun stuff so it was really cool it's free for hunters obviously I wasn't hunting and neither was anyone <laughs> that was camping there that night because that place was booked with people everywhere I got the last campsite last night but it was really cool yeah they just have it for people who are camping and hunting but we were just camping so we we're at Walmart. I parked in between these two campers and um, I'm gonna get locked up for the night and get nice and cozy. As cozy as you can get in a Walmart parking lot. It is so cozy when all the curtains are closed. Heck yeah. Good night. Good morning. <laughs> we didn't sleep in like we did yesterday, but we still slept. I'm also gonna go to Panera again and take advantage of how good that Wi-Fi was yesterday so I can upload maybe another video. <laughs> we'll see. It's all up to the free Wi-Fi. We are officially about to be at our destination. The reason why we went on this trip, we are almost there. To be exact, seven minutes away from our destination. It is so surreal after driving 20, 22 hours with all the traffic we hit. We're only seven minutes away. We started right here in Northern Rhode Island. We drove through all these states, stayed one night here, and then we drove all the way down and stayed one night here in Atlanta, Georgia. 
This morning, I finally drove the last couple of hours and we have officially made it to our final destination, Alabama, baby. Some of you guys might be a little confused on what's in Alabama. Most of you guys are gonna get it right away. But my really good friend Lojo has property down here. And when I say property, I mean he has the most beautiful property, at least that I've seen on video. It has ponds, there's a river on it. It is breathtaking and it is filled with fish, more specifically catfish. He has trophy bass in there, but he has catfish. And I think I know what we're gonna end up eating for dinner tonight because uh, we just spent a lot of money on gas. So let's save some money tonight and cook Lojo and I some food. Hi, who are you? What's your name? Hi, oh. <gasps> Another one? What? Excuse me? Come here. Come in. Wow, you guys aren't much of guard dogs, huh? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hey there. Hello. What's up? <laughs> How you doing? You ever try to you? steal my dogs? Oh, dude, they're, they're so cute. Yeah, this is Lucy. Lucy? That's Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. Time to uh, drive down to the pond, which is where I'm actually going to be sleeping tonight. We're truck camping out of this thing, so it's going to be uh, fishing, truck camping, catch and cook, literally all my favorite things smashed into one. It's it's a boat graveyard. I know. It's literally a boat graveyard. It's kind of like eerie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> like that's a great way to describe it. That boat really puts it together. Oh wow. It looks like people have died here. Like yeah. shipwrecked and never found again. Oh, dude, look at that. It's way bigger than you think it is. It's huge in person. Oh. Oh man, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. I wanted to make sure it met like all my needs, like sleeping, camping, fishing, cooking. Yeah, that's dope. I did indeed catch a bluegill if you guys saw that. Oh, you're on. Oh, there we got the perfect size one. Yes. Let's go, Becca. <laughs> We're gonna cut them into threes. We're gonna use my monstrous treble hook that I brought all the way from Rhode Island <laughs> when I was packing. Ooh! How bad does that smell? It's got a little bit of an odor to it. Like catfish yummy odor? Yeah, I think they'll smell it. Yeah. <laughs> Bluegill head. And we're just gonna, I don't know, hook them right through there. Where the heck would I even hook them? Three split shots to a bluegill head. I'm not starving tonight. Yeah, I probably sit out here all day. That's incredibly sad. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, guys, we're on. I was just moving the truck. Get in here. Get in here. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. That's a giant. That's a giant. Let's go. Let's go, baby. <laughs> ah, I'm shaking. Look at the size of him. We're eating you, buddy. We just got hit. I'm just getting everything ready to cook and we got smacked. Oh 
We are trying to cook a catfish. We just hooked into a catfish while we are cooking a catfish. Yo, he's definitely smaller. That's so cool. We are literally getting started as we speak. That's the perfect size eater. The one we caught was a giant, but whatever. Oh no. No, 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 I dropped him. I'm sorry. Oh, there he goes. I'm just gonna give you a little flop. Wow, chaos. Anywhere you go down south, you will find catfish sandwich on the menu. For whatever reason, I don't know. It is like a delicacy, delicacy out here. Lojo also told me there's coyotes out here and I'm out here in the pitch black by myself. Chili powder, Old Bay seasoning mixture with the flour because why the heck not? Oh yeah, she's ready. Wow, it just curled up, eh? Golly. We have our toasted bun. We're gonna hit it with some mayo. More mayo, the better. You can literally never go wrong. We don't have, obviously, utensils out here in the woods. So there we go. Good enough for me. These things came out spectacular. This was the first one we put in. And it's gonna be the one to go on the sandwich, our catfish sandwich. And again, I couldn't find a supermarket. So the next ingredient is gonna be fried crispy onions just in case there already wasn't enough crunch on it. Hunger is an understatement. I'm so hungry. That's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Obviously we got some hot sauce. I'm not a rookie out here. Oh, that's a lot of hot sauce. Hello? Is anybody home? I'm, yeah. You catch a fish? Yeah, Thank I caught God. two. And oh, then, you caught two? Yeah, and then I started hearing the coyotes, so I came in my truck. Are you serious? Yeah, dude, they're loud. All right, well, I'll keep an eye out up there. I got some rifles that'll reach this far, so I'll keep an eye oh, out. Oh, heck yeah. I'll yeah. just shoot you uh, shoot you text if they come too close. You can just, yeah. just I'll blow them up real quick. a warning shot or something. <laughs> I got you. Have a good night. I'll see you in, I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Honesty is the best policy. I did indeed hear coyotes and got scared. So now I am in my truck and I just put my pajamas on and I left everything out there. I'm not kidding. You'll see it in the morning. I promise you everything is out there still. Good morning. <laughs> I probably would have slept another like hour or two, honestly, but the wind is just chucking my truck back and forth my whole truck's just like a little rocking chair right now <laughs> i don't want to get out of bed but i'm gonna get out of bed and grab um a fishing rod and we're literally gonna like lay in bed and fish it's far too windy we must add more split shots and weights otherwise Good luck to us on making sure our bait hits the bottom. But we did catch two catfish, which makes me feel so good. That's all I can really ask for, honestly. Can't ask for much more. I wanted to come here and catch catfish, and well, I did.
Oh shoot, the GoPro fell off. And my buggy's leaving me. Becca, I hate to tell you, but your GoPro mount. <laughs> oh, she's just gone. Oh, there she is. Driving through my cornfield. We are still at Lojo's and Lojo thinks he's uh, a skilled builder man <laughs> and built this DIY pop-up camper and I've been dying to check it out. You it's want... pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know if I would call myself a skilled builder man. No, not but, at all. Uh, that was you know, an exaggeration. This is definitely the best uh, best thing I've ever been a part of for sure. It looks sick. You want to show me yeah, it? I mean, I, I'm, I mean, you see a lot on video, but I want to see this thing in person. Also, wow. is this for your setting up camp? Yeah, I like it right here. Oh, middle of the field. Okay. I just want to be out in the middle. I mean, I could go in the woods, but I thought, come on now. I think this is pretty cool just out here in the field. And look at that beautiful sun. Oh, it's beautiful. Shabla! <laughs> look at that. Look how big that is in there, though. That's going to be kind of cozy, actually. It's insulated, too. And Check out can, the insulation. You can lock it from the inside with this. That's right. Awesome. Privacy, That's security. You got a sliding window, an AC. Hey, mm. that's home for the night. I'm it's excited. Got, it's got outlets. Did you notice? Actual working outlets. What? And you know what the cool thing is? Is I can cook in here tonight, probably. Oh, you open that window. You're good to go. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got ventilation. <laughs> this is so cool. Well, a lot went on today which means I am definitely hungry. I have not yet to eat. So this is usually the camping one that I bring with me when I'm not in my truck and this little propane stove. It's pretty incredible. They make smaller ones for propane, but this little thing gets the job done. Tomorrow is super exciting because we are going fishing in the morning, hopefully. The, fingers crossed we're going fishing in the morning. That's the goal, but the weather is going to be pretty gnarly with wind and rain. So the plan is to go fishing, but you never know. First impressions is it's actually pretty cozy. I'll see you guys in the morning, hopefully alive and then going fishing that that's the most ideal situation so i love you guys and i'll see you in the morning i'm gonna hit the hay howdy i had no choice but to disconnect the trailer last night because i had to get pots and pans out of my truck and once you open this and try to take down the draws it doesn't really work Lojo's gonna kill me. Uh. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. it, oh, we're good. Dude. Oh, too oh, far. Oh, oh. And yeah. thanks for the yeah. help. Yep. <laughs> I'm here for you. Heck yeah. <laughs> we have a couple different baits on us, but let's start off with the the drag and drop on the drop shot. This is morning dawn. There we go. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Oh, I'm on Lojo's dock, I need to get off. Oh no, we're floating away. Yes, they do like the drop shot down south, baby. Lucy, we did it, baby. We did it, look at us. Finally caught a bass, not a giant, there's bigger for sure, but we did it. Thank you, you wanna see him? See you later, bud. Thank you for the fight. <laughs> Oopsies. That was a lot of fun. And not only was that fun, but we caught fish. Might have not slept the best, but it happens, right? It happens to the best of us.
I just went to Academy for the first time ever. I've never been to Academy. Picked up some crawfish trap, crawfish bait, and we have a beautiful river that a local recommended to me that they have caught crawfish out of here before. So he said, go to this river, go to this spot. You should catch crawfish. I'm gonna leave the crawfish trap in for at least four to five hours, which is the recommended times about three. I'll check them at three hours, maybe leave them in for another hour or two. When in Rome, right? They got a lot of crawfish down south, so let's let's give her a try. There's a coconut in the river. We're just not in New England anymore. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know, I'm like tempted, honestly. <laughs> yeah, you too. Well, we don't need you. Keeping the blanket on so that I don't get attacked. But here's our final product. So cool. Like, it looks delicious. This is spicy ramen with crawfish and Cajun seasoning. I mean, I don't know how this can't be good. Let's just try the noodles. Just plain. Yeah. <clears throat> it's spicy. I always forget how bad I am with spice. That's my favorite meal of the entire road trip so far. That's delicious. A little too spicy for me, but I'm gonna eat everything, so oh well. This is so good. <sighs> that was so good. The sun goes down in like an hour and I'm mentally fighting with myself, trying to convince myself that I don't need to take a nap. Also, there's literally like nothing left. I devoured that. We ate dinner so early. I could definitely use like a snack right now, but I'm not gonna because yeah. Literally the only thing I ate today was that ramen and crawfish thing, but it really filled me up. What's cool about being in the woods is I don't really feel the need to close my curtains too, but sorry. Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent about dumb things right now. I think I'm actually legitimately going to go to bed. It's going to get down to 49 degrees tonight, which is pretty chilly for here, which is which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. My first southern cold experience should be exciting. Yep, that's it. My brain is scrambled. I've been up for like 10 minutes, complicating my entire existence. I slept in, like it, it's 10 o'clock. It's, it's, it's 10 o'clock. It looks like it rained, I had no idea. You, oh, you have worms? You don't have a... No, no quick kick and no menu. Did you guys see that? There we go. There we go. Yeah. Skinny. But that's a good fish. <laughs> Holy crap. First fish of the day. Probably three and a half, four. I was just super excited. And when he first jumped, I was like, oh, that's a five. Three and a half. Get you all washed off, buddy. Choked it, too. That was so cool. For a microscopic pond, that's not a bad fish. This is just the closest pond to where we slept last night. And wow just a bummer because it's kind of it's just gonna i gotta i gotta toss him which is a bummer but there he goes i'll take that all day what is that? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, hey, Becca's here. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> that was perfect, thank you. Okay. <laughs> well, the last thing that you guys got to witness was... No, that's the off of the light. Oopsies. I, I caught that fish. And then I realized I was so close to the border, called Norm, and I was like, Norm. And he was like, oh, dude, come over. So I've been at Norm's. So that that's, yeah, you guys are going to see so much more. I ended up in Florida, and I told myself I wasn't going to Florida, too. That's the funny part, is that wasn't even a part of, like, the game plan. I was going to stop in Alabama, then make my way back up. But now I'm in Florida, and I'm probably going to be here for a while, because, yeah. That's just how the way uh, the mm, cookie crumbles, I guess. I ended up in Florida and I love it. Today was a lot of fun after I went fishing and came here. Probably gonna spend a couple days here. Maybe go back to Lojo's, I have no idea. There's so much up in the air, it is ridiculous. And that is the fun part is I left so much room in this trip to do many, many different things. So there's that. We're on a road trip right now. We've been truck camping and traveling all over the East Coast. And I said that I left a lot of time to do things not that I had planned. And I ended up in Florida. Yeah, we, we're in Florida right now. I realized how close Norm was to Lojo. So I am at Norm's house. <laughs> I called Norm and, you know, he invited me over to film some stuff. So I'm pretty excited right now. We are going fishing. That's the first objective of today. I want to go fishing with Norm, see, you know, we can get on some big bass, whatever the case might be. But not only are we going fishing, we're going to be doing something that I've dreamed of doing that kind of sounds maybe a little absurd, but I've always wanted a tree house. So I never like asked for one as a kid. It was more of like a weird thing that I wanted the last like five years. I've, I don't know. One of my life goals is to build a tree house. I did not build this thing, but when Norm got his house, what came on the property was this beautiful tree house. It is actually way larger than I thought. And there's like windows. It's actually a really, really cool tree house. I don't know what's inside. I haven't even been up there yet. That was the closest I've been to it since I've been at Norm's. So we've been having fun, hanging out. And now today we are going finally fishing and camping, but not our normal camping adventure, of course. We will be sleeping in that tree house. Can't wait to show you guys. I can't wait to see it personally for myself. So it should be a lot of fun and crank some fish. Whoa, whose cat is that? We don't know. It, we, he just kind of comes up sometimes. He's been hanging out in here a lot. I think he's like maybe a neighbor's cat. Huh. Okay. But he's never like let us come up to him. So he just runs away every time he sees us. Yep. Fairly confident this morning? Um, so here's the plan because you're here. We could go to spots where we guarantee catch fish, but I'm going to try to go to spots where not like we could catch a giant, but like, if we catch something, it won't be like half a pound. So okay. that's like, but we could skunk. Blazing worm, mondo worm. Yeah, you know the deal. Feeling good, feeling confident? Uh, I kind of am, because I haven't been here in like a year. So that could be good or that could be bad. You don't want to spook a bass if it's on the bank, so we'll just take some cast before we walk all the way up. First cast! First cast! <laughs> They're in here. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that was so cool. See you later, bud. There we go. There we go. I can't tell. It sounded like it. It did, it feels like a drop. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Don't come off. Don't come off. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, he's so short and fat, dude. Yeah, 4.2. Nice. It's built like a Code, though. Just a better look for you guys on how weirdly portioned this guy is, but that was so sick. Sweet. We're gonna let him go. He's built like a New England bass. I kind of have to drop him. I squirt. There we go. Oh my god. There we go. I got one. Oh shoot. Yep. Um. I, I got it. 
I think. Oh wow, you ripped drag. You literally ripped drag. Florida's on a whole new level, dude. Wow, are we kidding? <laughs> See, like why are they so fat? That's what I'm telling you. Holy crap. <laughs> and they fight like crazy out here too. It's just nuts. He was ripping drag. On my baycaster, he was just ripping drag. Oh. Holy smokes. Dude, that's like, have a good day. That's like another four, right? Yeah, I would definitely, oh, I got my pants dirty. That was definitely like a four. Holy moly. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I just spooked two alligators. I'm a little shaken up. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not used to that, seeing two alligators, so. Also, look at the size of this crawfish. That's so cool. Oh, I'm dying. We're going into Walmart and I'm grabbing stuff to cook dinner in the treehouse tonight so we don't starve up in a treehouse. I feel like that's a, yeah, that's a bad mixture. So we're gonna grab some food, a couple other things, and then head back to the house and I'm gonna get ready to camp in a treehouse. possibly need dialed so you slept in here once right or no i went up in it for five minutes it and was so hot out it was also middle of summer so it was like 108 degrees outside literally felt like i was about to pass out i ate a lunchables in there and then i came back down i've never been back up so. <laughs> okay are you going up right now yeah i mean yeah so that's it so you're just I'm just leaving you. Wait, hold up. I gotta, so how long are you going to be up there? I mean, I'm sleeping, so. Overnight? Yeah. I usually, when I camp in weird places, I usually wake up very early, though. So, you know, you'll see me tomorrow morning. Okay. Well, there's animals out here. We've seen deer. We've seen rabbits. We've yeah. seen random stray cats. Spiders? Like wasp things. There's wasps? The ones that don't sting. There's Is that a thing? without stingers. All right, well, have fun. <laughs> enjoying air conditioning. Oh, enjoying air conditioning. I'm not sure how I'm gonna make it up with all this stuff. Wow, okay, this is actually kind of high. <laughs> this is way crazier than I expected. <laughs> Regretting my decision already. Oh, I thought a bug, uh, spider just fell on me. Oh my goodness. That's a massive wasp! That's the tour. <coughs> oh no. Oh! Alright, throw that in the egg bath. Make sure it's filled with egg and cinnamon. Not too bad for the first batch. Well, I wanted to share my food with Norm, but Norm doesn't really want to come up here, so. French toast going down on string. This is quite the rig right here. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, taste test of Becca's, <laughs> what is it, dairy-free butter French toast? Yes. Oh, that's so good. Is it actually? Mm-hmm. You can take it. Like, I, I actually kind of, you know, I, I chefed it up for you or whatever. Is this all you made? I'm going to make myself more. This is really good. I haven't had French toast in, like... Forever. It's had to be, like, 10 years. <laughs> well, this is really good. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. See you tomorrow morning. Okay. See ya. Got to make sure everybody eats, you know? For like really healthy bread, it came out surprisingly good. Obviously, I recommend higher quality bread, but this this is like dieting bread. I'm trying to watch my you know figure.
I'm impressed with myself. This actually might make me feel a little bit better about sleeping with bugs tonight. This is the same pillow and blanket from my truck, so I, it's kind of homey in here. <clears throat> I'm terrified, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna feel so cool in the morning when I wake up after, like, successfully making it through the night. Alright, I love you guys. I'll let you know if anything happens and I'll turn the camera on, but for now, I'm gonna close my eyes and enjoy my treehouse for the night. <laughs> I have so many complaints. I'm just gonna start off with saying one complaint, two complaints. That was the worst sleep of my life. Hands down the worst sleep of my life. Two, my other complaint. There's cracks that lead straight to the bottom. And it got windy last night and it just kept seeping in from under the floor and like hitting my back. So I just had like wind just slamming underneath me all night. <laughs> that treehouse is very tall for a treehouse. Hi. Meow. I'm going to sleep in that lovely bed behind me and take a nap with Ranch. His name is Ranch. Yeah, Norm named him Ranch. So I'm going to hit the hay and we're going to go snuggle and take a nap. This is another day on the road. It has been an unbelievable trip. To kind of catch you guys up to speed, we drove all the way 22 hours to Alabama to Lojo's place. And then we drove another like two and a half hours to Norm's. Spent a couple days at Norm's. And now if you can't tell, we are back at Lojo's. Norm is here, Ayo just left, Lojo's here. All the cameramen, we've been filming one of Lojo's videos, which I can't wait for you guys to see. It is going to be absolutely insane. And we kind of destroyed a boat. They're, they're, that boat is gone forever. Bye, Charlie. Bye, bud. Bye, Lucy. See you, Becca. Oh, shoot, I could barely see you. Oh. New Guggen Squad hoodie. Code Becca. I bet this looks weird, doesn't it? It's <laughs> like a floating head and a camera strapped around me. Going to work, clocking in, punching in. <laughs> Just, just making sure you guys are paying attention to where I put my keys, you know? It's been amazing. It's been fun. But I have so many other ideas that I need to do. I need to get on the road. I need to continue on. I just want to do some crazy cool stuff for you guys. And I think that means that we got to branch out from the boys. I've had so much fun, though. Do not get me wrong. We have about a three-hour drive right now. We're going to Bucky's. If you don't know what Bucky's is, it is the world's largest gas station. And in my opinion, it's almost not a gas station. You guys will see what I mean. If you've never seen Bucky's, you guys are in for an absolute show. Look how big this place is. There's a minimum of about 80 to 100 gas pumps. Honestly, realistically, at least 100 gas pumps. since I've been to Bucky's. This place is actually massive. I, there's just no other way to explain it. I believe it originated in Texas and the saying is everything in Texas is bigger and uh, they didn't lie. I'm not sure why Bucky's expanded outside of Texas, but I'm not gonna complain because we're here in Georgia. And we have a Bucky's. You're telling me this is a gas station? We're basically in a mall. 
there's a Bucky's of everything, and I wish I was kidding. Like, there's everything you possibly imagine, but Bucky's brand name all over it. Just walls and walls of Bucky stuff. Bucky's famous beef jerky. Definitely gonna have to try that. Thank you, you as well. First things first, let's figure out where we're gonna park slash sleep for the night because that is key. Bucky's home for the night, baby. Close up just a few curtains. You know, this is basically stealth camping. I'm not sure if you're allowed to camp here. I've just seen so many people do it though, so I don't know. I've heard Bucky's has some of the best food around. I'll be the judge. I know their breakfast is really good, so we're gonna have to go back in the morning and get breakfast. I did get a lot of food. I don't plan on eating it all. Don't worry, this is a lot. Before I get started, I got a Bucky's beanie. It feels so tight on my head. So it's probably a little ridiculous looking, but. Whoa, whoa. Is there cheese in this? What did I get? This is a sausage, a stick with a tortilla. Wow. Okay, pretty good. Oh, I gotta post a YouTube video. Sorry for the interruption. Sometimes when you're living on the road, you realize you should really upload your video. And I just uploaded a video for you guys. Shout out free Wi-Fi, baby. If you guys know anything about me, we've made pulled pork on the channel once, but pulled pork is legitimately my favorite sandwich of all time and food in general, probably. This is a pulled pork barbecue sandwich. And I, I, I've probably had more pulled pork sandwiches in my life than anything else, any other food in the world. So I have pretty high standards for a good pulled pork sandwich. Let's see what you got, Bucky's. That is so good. I'm gonna give this like an eight out of 10. And I've only had like one nine out of 10 pulled pork sandwich in my life. Like I'm very picky with pulled pork sandwiches and this is a solid eight out of 10. Mm. They're not bad. They have a little kick at the end. Not the best Cajun chips I've ever had, but maybe six out of 10, pretty good. The first thing we ate was probably like shocked me so much. If you put maple syrup on that thing, 6 out of 10, 8 out of 10, and then I forgot what I rated this, but it's getting better and better, so 7 out of 10. All the curtains are closed for the night. We are good. I'm gonna wake up and it's gonna be 39 degrees. I don't know, it's basically like being back home in New England up north not sure why we traveled down south for warm weather but nonetheless i'm in my sleeping bag and it's somewhat warm ish it's okay i'm gonna go to bed so i'll see you guys in the morning and i'll keep you guys updated if anything happens but hopefully not <sighs> i had to take tums <laughs> I got probably one of the worst stomach aches I've had in quite some time. And then I kind of looked around the parking lot and saw that there was a bunch of other campers there that kind of showed up after I was locked in for the night. So, you know, it made me feel very comfortable knowing there was a bunch of other people here. Don't do as I do, but I don't know. Doesn't look like they mind. I'm sure it depends on the Bucky's location, but... It's like we never left New England. Not bad. Not bad. Time to try the coffee. You know what? I'm going to go as far as say this is the best gas station coffee I've ever had. I think it was only $1.89. Tonight is definitely gonna be a cold one i don't remember the exact navy base name but my buddy and i we were fishing somewhere in georgia 
and I was online pretty much for two hours calling so many places trying to figure out where to get MREs because it's been something I've been wanting to do forever is try a real authentic MRE. We both got out of the car and we saw three gentlemen standing outside talking and of course we went up to them and we were like hey like do you know where to get MREs around here so you know we don't have to travel far because I was actually going to drive three hours out of my way today to go get MREs because it was the only place that had them and it would have been a total of about seven hours of driving today if I went to that spot so we got out of the car we talked to them and they were like oh like there was this one guy, his name was Bart, he was amazing, and he said that he served, it was either 20 or 30 years he served in the military, and he had a card that could get him into commissary. Listen, I'm at the commissary, they do have MREs here. I want his beef strips and a savory tomato based sauce. Oh. That sounds good. <laughs> if you went east on Russell Parkway for seven miles, you would run into the base, that's where I'm at. I picked out two flavors that sounded somewhat good, so I'm really hopeful right now. It was a really cool experience knowing that these MREs just came from a military base, and I ended up meeting a really cool guy in the process, so thank you, Bart. You're amazing. I went to his house, picked it up, all that good stuff. How are you? 26.54. I got, I don't have change, but keep it, because I appreciate it. It has been a long day, lots of driving. I'm absolutely starving and we are at Cracko Barrel. That is our campsite for the night. <laughs> can't can't say I've ever slept here before, but it's a recommended spot. But not they don't mind people sleeping in their parking lot. So we're gonna have to find out together. It's gonna be cold, it's gonna be a long night, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think we're gonna go fishing in the morning. We got two MREs to try. It's gonna be exciting. Might get kicked out, might freeze to death come along with and let's get in the bed of the truck and get this thing started i am very very excited right now curtains are closed up for the night unless we magically need to go back inside the truck because i forgot something which is totally possible these are all very scary contraptions trail mix let's start out with some trail mix I feel like it's kind of hard to make a bad trail mix. I did, Bert did say that when he served in the military and he said that the last year he served was 1999. He said that they were really good in 1999. So let's see if they're still good. Oh yeah. This is crazy. It says to kind of leave it straight up a little bit. So like at an angle the heaters that smell i hope it's not the food that smells like that she good she good oh it's a burrito bowl because you got to open it like this that makes sense okay oh yeah that's cooked she warm oh my god that bag is smoking where am i supposed to put the heater like i feel like it's gonna catch everything on fire let's try it without the tortilla that's really nice it's actually really nice I like that. I'm sorry for hating on you, tortilla wrap. You're really delicious. Wow, that's actually delicious. Okay, I was wrong. I don't know, just like the feel of the tortilla wrap did not feel right. It's a Pop-Tart. It's a, it's gonna make a mess everywhere. It's a Pop-Tart. It's about 11 o'clock right now and I'm just kind of having a hard time going to sleep because of how cold I am. <sighs> Did not anticipate my southern send to be this cold, but it is 37 degrees. I'm freezing. It's gonna be a really, really tough night, but I'll catch you guys in the morning, keep you guys updated if anything crazy happens. Most likely not, just be freezing. <laughs> Last night, I, I, I mean, maybe 2 a.m. I finally fell asleep. I was just so cold. The beauties of truck camping. We're still on the road. We're in, somewhere in South Carolina in the middle of nowhere right now. Not middle of nowhere, but there's not much around. Uh, I think we're going to head to the coast at some point today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't want to, like, force myself too much and drive and kind of end up going crazy. So uh, we'll kind of go about our day a little bit differently and 
no plans. That's 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 the game plans we have. No plans. So. All right, sweet. Thank you so much. Have a good one. It's been one year on the road. I thought this was the one that made that sound. This is just, what is this? You know, the one that you blow into and it goes, ah. That was so unamusing. Ow! Oh, well, there goes my hat. Pretty sure I just crushed it. I've been doing a lot of driving and currently we're in Charleston, South Carolina. Easily one of my favorite cities I've ever personally been to and I'm so happy to be back. It's been about two years since I've been here and we're gonna fish our hearts out. We're gonna do a little celebration in the truck tonight. I have no idea where I'm gonna be sleeping per usual, but we will find somewhere we can overnight park, hopefully, and then not get kicked out, hopefully. So what yeah. we do is like you're on private property. I don't know, you're supposed to be here. Get your ID, Yeah. your information. This is our little map update. We started in Northern Rhode Island where my parents' house is. We drove all the way down here, spent our first night in Northern North Carolina. On the second night, we ended up all the way just below Atlanta, Georgia, and then we made it to our final destination, which was Alabama. And then from Alabama, which is right here, we drove all the way over here to kind of northern Florida, which I spent a couple of days, probably almost a week if I'm being honest, at Norm's house. So we went to Lojo's, went to Norm's, and then last night I was somewhere over here in Georgia, and now I'm all the way over here in Charleston, South Carolina, and this is my exact location. So we've definitely been going and kind of like a, it's like a shape of a fish hook is what we've been doing. Being on the road has been an unbelievable experience this past year. I've been able to meet so many incredible people. And I think that's one of my favorite things is being able to meet so many people because you kind of lack that human interaction. So you find yourself being more willing to talk to strangers in a way. So if I'm in a grocery store and I see some lady that needs help, I want to start a conversation with her because I haven't had human interaction in a couple of days. <laughs> so little things like that is kind of a negative, but then it turns into a positive in a way. We're gonna go fishing. There's a bunch of ponds. We're in like this kind of residential neighborhood that I probably shouldn't be parked at or fishing. But you know, if there's no fishing signs, I'll let you know, but I don't remember seeing any last time I was here. We're gonna go fish these ponds and then we're gonna continue truck camping and struggling because it can be a struggle. <laughs> there you go. Hey, first fish. Yeah, you gotta start somewhere. Not big, but that was funny. I walked up and cast it and I spooked pretty much, a, I don't know, realistically, probably like 15 turtles jumped in the water. And then this guy somehow still ate and didn't get spooked. I was gonna say, I, I just don't even know if there's fish in this pond. Probably the same exact size as the first one we caught, but... There you go. See you later, bud. <laughs> Are we kidding? I didn't know they could get smaller. To be fair, I fished these ponds two years ago with Lojo and Weston Smith, and this was pretty much the average size that we were catching. But I figured they would have gotten bigger or I would have hooked into something that we didn't last time. Oh, this looks this looks good right here. I like this. Uh, transition. Now we're in my truck. I had to clean up my truck a little bit because I was embarrassed for you guys to see. It got a little messy. Cheers to being one year on the road. Thank you to everyone who's followed the journey. Thank you to everyone that supported me. We may be broke, but we are sure as hell happy. I'd rather be broke 
and happy than have money and be sad and not be doing the stuff that I do want to be doing. So I have no regrets and hopefully you guys, you know, enjoy the content that's been put out the past year. It's only going to get better and better. So thank you to everyone that's stuck right beside me. Appreciate you guys. Let's light this bad boy. Don't I have to make a wish? It's not my birthday. Um, I wish for safe travels home and many more amazing trips in the near future. <sighs> Ta-da! Oh, God. So much driving. So much exploring. My brain is fried. I'm gonna go to bed. We can do some more things and talk a little bit more in the morning. But for now, I need to hit the hay, so... Thanks for sharing a cupcake moment with me. See you guys in the morning. You don't have to fully get out. I'm just going to get coffee. Uh, no, I got you. I know you said you have permission to go back. It's not the most dialed system, but. You live back here? Yeah, I'm just like traveling from um, oh, okay. Rhode Island. I mean, I'm That's sure you saw That's a far trip, yeah. Yeah, I was just in Alabama, and then I was oh, in wow. Florida, so... Okay. So what yeah. we do is, like, you're on private property, I don't know you're supposed to be here. Oh, so yeah, no, I don't, I know. have a different what I'll do is I'll just, like, get your ID, yeah. your information, and then I'll put it into, like, a little small synopsis in my our report system saying I got out with you at this time, this place. Okay, cool. That's all I need to do. Yeah, yeah no. Do you have an ID on you? Yeah, I do, I do. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. No, I mean, I appreciate you doing your job, too. Oh, thank you so much, yeah. You got a heater back there? No. <laughs> You're just freezing? <laughs> well, the sleeping bag's rated for, like, negative degrees. Oh, uh, okay. But... You got, you got some good jackets on, too, so, I mean, you should be okay, yeah. I've done worse, trust You're me. You're traveling alone? All this way alone? Were you just, like, uh, just, like, sightseeing? Um, yeah, I do, I do YouTube. Rhode Island ID. Three, last name. Yassine. Yassine. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that help. I could not. I was gonna butcher that one. I was God. waiting for you to butcher, and I was like, oh, I can't do it to him. <laughs> What's your YouTube channel? Uh, fishing with Becca. Fishing with Becca. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to look that up. Is it? Are you on TikTok or just? Uh... I'm more a TikTok guy. Do you have a phone number? I do. Yes. Okay. Can I get it just because we're gonna call you later on about something that happened over here? Yeah, four hundred one. Rest of the night. Sweet. Okay. And I'll tell the rest of the cops working to leave you alone. And yeah. You're here only tonight, correct? Yeah, just tonight. Just tonight. Yeah. Okay, okay. I was, and they told me too. They're like, "There's a really good shot. A cops gonna come up to you." And I was like, uh, "Okay, whatever." Yeah. I mean, it's I rather sleep here than the Walmart. So. Yeah, this area is so much safer than mm -hmm. North side. This area can still get kind of rough though. So. Yeah, I, think I was I saw told. some guys walking around in jackets like like 20 minutes ago, and I couldn't find them when I turned around on them. So. Be really careful out here. Does this lock out really good? Yeah. It, like it does. Yeah, it, it definitely okay. locks out pretty good. Okay. I do just you have like. Do you anything prote protection wise, like guns or anything like that out here? Because we do have some problems. Like this neighborhood's not bad. Mm -hmm. I could. I mean, I worked here for a while. We've had a couple like instances, but really across the street mm -hmm. is like a kind of a, a, a rougher part. Gotcha. Of an apartment complex. It's kind of rough. Okay. So, gotcha. I mean, I've been here before and heard gunshots. Like, I've been here parked here just like eating lunch. Gunshots. So, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's a hit or miss, though, you know? Yeah. Oh, because it's cold, no one's out doing anything bad, but I just. If it's cold or raining, I usually feel so safe track camping because everyone's just home or doing their own thing, usually. You can you can have a good night, okay? <laughs> yeah, you too. Right. If you need anything, please give us a call, okay? I will. I will appreciate right. it so much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I was told that would probably happen, but yeah, a cop just knocked and was like, hello, is someone in there? <laughs> I was like, yeah, hold on, I just have to unlock the truck and blah, blah, blah. I'm going back to bed. Shout out to that cop. You were incredible, but good night. <laughs> Again. Good morning. I'm so tired. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I feel so dehydrated today. I ended up meeting up with Heather. We had a grand old time at Waffle House. I love Waffle House. Being on the road definitely challenges your inner thoughts.
It was a thrift store. I found it. I went to the wrong building. Okay. Um, we didn't do great, but we didn't do bad. I mean, code BeccaGuganSquad.com. Please help support the gas fund. <laughs> I have no gas wanting to get home right now. It's kind of scary, but life on the road. I got this. It's fuzzy. It's warm. And then this sweater, which I'm actually kind of excited about because I don't wear sweaters. We have some things to discuss. A, please ignore this rat's nest. B, I kept something from you guys and I didn't tell you. If you remember or if you're new here, well... I filmed multiple videos. I had a cast on my pinky for maybe a little bit over a month. So there was a time period where I was filming and I had a broken pinky and I promised you guys I would tell you what happened eventually. I uh, also kind of maybe broke my finger. And today's the day. I've tried multiple times to film videos before and give them another shot, but this is a little bit different. About maybe two and a half three months ago i decided to go out blue crabbing out of my kayak i bought ex not expensive nets but you know the nets aren't necessarily cheap to go crabbing the baits aren't cheap i woke up at sunrise and was doing it all the way until five o'clock and i would have went until the sun went down but there's this the way that docks work or at least the dock that i was on it goes like a c right here and then there's the post that goes to the bottom of the ocean the dock isn't connected to anything except for that post from that sea. So this is the dock, this is like the sea, and then the post is going in between that. Now the dock kind of sways back and forth and will hit the post in the middle, if that makes sense. I went to go grab a crab trap and I didn't get on the GoPro, but I got the aftermath. And basically what ended up happening was my pinky got stuck and the dock just slowly crushed my finger. <clears throat> Holy crap. <laughs> Holy sh I'm gonna throw. <gasps> oh my god. It was it was really bad. I don't think I've actually ever cried that hard in my entire life. But I just shattered my pinky. I'm in a lot of pain. I'll explain at a later date. <laughs> and I've had probably eight to 10 surgeries. I've had four holes in my elbow and pins through it, like metal rods in my elbow because I shattered my bone. I've had six ear surgeries, you name it. I'm pretty good with pain, I would say so. But something about this was different. I went to the emergency room and I completely dislocated my pinky as well as just completely crushed it and I didn't get any feeling back on my finger except for over here. So I actually have nerve damage at the top of my pinky from it now and I don't feel anything. Like I'm not feeling that at all. So that was a fun experience. I just didn't want to give up, okay? I, I really have this thought in my brain that I really want to get this done. I, I just really want to do blue crab catch and cook. Blue crabs are delicious and knowing that I can forage them myself and, and catch them is incredible. And then I started thinking, I was like, hey, I'm going on a big road trip now and we're currently in South Carolina, Charleston to be exact, one of my favorite cities I've ever been to. And I have a friend here who's actually a blue crab expert. Her actual job is to take people blue crabbing, give them the experience, educate them and do all that good stuff. And I met up with her about two years ago. So it's been two years since I've seen her. I ended up texting her and was like, hey, I'm on this road trip. Charleston's a little bit out of the way by a couple of hours, but if we can make it happen, I would love to do a blue crab catch and cook with you. She's gonna be a part of the catching part. I'm gonna be doing the cooking part, but she has an incredible business. I can't wait for you guys to meet her. I kind of started thinking, I was like, I've been through so much trying to film this blue crab video. I literally dislocated and shattered my pinky trying to film this video. I, I can't just catch and cook a blue crab. And then I saw this. This was given to me well over a year ago. This is a very old Christmas gift from last year. And I brought it all the way from Rhode Island where my parents' house is. 
because I keep most of my stuff there, pretty much everything. And I grabbed it from my parents' house and we drove all the way to Alabama, Florida, whatever. And now we're in South Carolina and we are going to make a California roll. If you aren't aware, a California roll is a type of sushi, pretty much the number one beginner sushi. A lot of people get it because it's just cucumber, avocado, and usually imitation crab, but it's cooked meat, so people feel very safe eating it. And this is gonna be what we're trying to do today, is literally make that with our sushi making kit. And my first time ever opening it was only like five minutes ago, and I think we're pretty golden. It comes with a sushi knife, chopsticks, everything. I am beyond excited for this video. I've been planning this exact video for three months now after I you know decided I wanted to do it it didn't work out and then I hurt my finger trying to do it at home by myself it was a mess so pinky is feeling so much better now it looks normal again just again I lost a lot of nerve damage right there but that is no big deal our session starts in about 20 minutes so let's grab everything get packed and let's go catch some blue crab in the beautiful state of South Carolina to be exact one of my favorite cities Charleston Good, how are you? It is so good to see you. Come on, man. <laughs> hey. It is so good to see you. Yeah, you too. Feels so good to be back here. This is what weather, huh? How's it going? What's up, girl? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. I'm back up. You want to come from the back. And I want, don't, I always just start tempting him. I want to see how close I can get, you know? We sight. Pick the crab up. It's a quick, fast way to pick it up but it's not the safest because the two claws are still free. Those are the things that they can pinch you with. Yeah. That claw is gonna come ruin the rest of your day. The blue. While everyone else in the group is doing some more, I wanted to show you guys what my pinky ended up in. So the dock that I was crabbing in that video was there wasn't these things right here. And as you can see, the dock is kind of moving with it, right? So my finger got caught right here inside the crack and a wave came and that's what got my pinky was it being in there trying to pull up the trap. And I can promise you that uh, it didn't feel good. <laughs> oh, yeah, you you're good. One here? No, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm doing so bad. I haven't caught one. I'm like seven and oh. <laughs> Come on, get that thing up here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Did you guys catch fish today? We caught a couple. Not, not as nice as that crab. I'll take That's that. a good crab. I'll, I'll take that. That's a monster. Woo. <laughs> you was waiting on him. All right, me and you. We're going to get that, all right? Uh, all right, no problem at all. Totally going to do good on this. Wait, you're terrified? <laughs> You're good. Get your thumb on the claw. Mm -hmm. yep. Pull it all the way out. The tip of that should be pointing at me. All the way out. You got it. She's strong. You got to be stronger than her. Come on, baby. Get the... <laughs> you got it. Try. All right. Now you know that was left. No, put that thumb back. Put that thumb back. Thumb back. Raise that claw above and then it's no, like, don't why? ever oh, let no, go. No, didn't let go. Didn't let go. <laughs> hey, don't worry about the camera. Yeah, don't worry about the camera. Don't ever. <laughs> don't let go. You're now, seeing stuff. Don't move your thumb. Okay. Just use your index finger to pull that claw up. Yeah, bring it a little higher. There you go. Now you got some place for that thumb to go. There it is. Okay. Pull all the way out. All right. Good job. Keep those claws open. Don't let her pull them back in on you. Oh, I won't. Yeah, she's pulling. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Hey, that girl muscled you. You had to work Man. for that one. Hey. Outstanding. Nice. Wow, work. this one's strong. She's beautiful. Yeah, she is very beautiful awesome. and gonna be delicious. Yeah. So get her measured up. I'm gonna drop that thing in. Bye, nice bud. Work. That's another girl. There are weights at the bottom. So you're gonna put an opening on this net. And you're gonna aim for the sky. Open it. So you're going behind. Yeah. But I want you to just go from here, swing once to the left, uh, and then release. Okay. Just go left to the sky. Okay. So you got it. Trust it. Yep. Throw it. That's what I'm nice. talking about. That's awesome. She, she knew how to do that. Awesome. She did. Yeah, she so did. Awesome. She was gonna go easy until I told her. When I said go it, throw it, that's when she. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's getting cold. Yeah, I got chilly wood. I know. Come on. Come on. Hey, Yahtzee, bring her up. Yes. Look at that big girl. All right, we got to That's what I'm right. talking about. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. I'll see you soon. Be safe with your birds. Let me know what you can do with all that content. It's a pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one, guys. Well, we're headed out now. We're walking back to the car. Got this little bag right here. We got three crabs. I only caught two, but some people didn't want to keep them that were here doing the experiencing that she does. Uh, you guys can book with her. I'll leave her stuff linked down below. It's so much fun. Some people didn't want to keep them and because they were traveling in a hotel, didn't know how to cook them, yada yada. So I got three. I could have gotten way more than three, but I think three is going to be just enough to make some sushi for us tonight. So really, really excited right now. We got three blue crabs, even though I only caught two. I was gonna drive to Columbus. Columbus. I was gonna drive to Columbia, and then I decided not to. But show and tell. Blue crab number one. I think that one. No, this one's our smallest, which is still not small. And then this is the big seven incher that I caught right in the beginning. Like this thing is so massive. I'm nervous, but let's get started on making some sushi. We need to boil these crabs. Fingers crossed we have enough A, water, and B, a big enough pot. Oh, snap. Just barely sticking out. Five to eight minutes, it's supposed to stay in there, so I'm gonna do like six and check on it. Wow, it's already turning red. That was so fast. Cooked, not cooked. So cool. This is three blue crabs, which do probably doesn't look like a lot of meat, and that's because it's not, because the entire time I was eating it. Oh, that's a pretty good knife. Okay. Not quite sure how this works. I'm definitely not an expert now, but it came with this. I don't understand this white thing it came with. I, I can't find any information on how to use it. It's a pretty nice avocado. <laughs> okay, only put it on half, or try to only put it on half. This is really sticky rice. This is perfect. You wanna make sure it's long green white rice or short green. My cucumbers, make sure you lay them out oh so nice because remember they're gonna be cut like that. We're gonna go in with our avocado. And then the grand finale. We're going in with our crab. Despite how it's cutting, that doesn't look too bad. There we go. Oh, no. Still didn't really cut that well. Well, have a sharp knife. Here we go. Look at that. Come on, who else is doing a crab catch and cook like that? Look at that. These came out really nice. Hmm. We have to at least get to Columbus tonight. That's the goal. I think a Colum I think it's like maybe two hours away, actually. I gotta see how far away we are, but let's at least get to Columbus. And if we feel like we can keep driving, we'll keep driving. Yeah, let's go, let's go jam to some music, have some fun, and have a good drive, and let's 
get some hours out of the way. The more hours I get done tonight, the more hours I don't have to drive tomorrow. Logic. I'm still in North Carolina. I didn't end up in the area that I wanted to. I ended up realizing that going that direction actually added time. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you guys in the morning because I'm just so ready to knock out right now, but I love you guys and I'm going to bed. So I'll see you in the morning. It's almost 6 a.m. I think it's like 5.30 a.m. right now. It's gonna be hard getting out of bed let alone driving. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so how uh, we're back at Bucky's. I think we're still in South Carolina. We're I don't know. We might be in North Carolina right now. I'm, I'm shocked that we're not because I feel like we've driven so much and somehow we're not there yet. I think this is South Carolina, but this is the last Bucky's for a while. So I'm stopping here and grabbing some coffee. That was a crazy nap. Yeah, I don't know if I can do it, but it would be nice. I really haven't said much to you guys, but I just got homesick, weirdly. So, I think in total, we're gonna do about 14 hours of driving today, which is nuts. It's currently nine o'clock at night, and if we keep on driving, we'll get home around 3 a.m. We got like six hours left. I just stopped and got some food. I had to go to McDonald's as much as I hate fast food. I just got some stuff off like the, the $2 menu or whatever, the one, two, three dollar menu. Um, Ma'am, we don't need to be slamming on our brakes, all right? Yeah. All right, Mom. Yeah, perfect timing, actually. That's funny. I'm so tired, and it's midnight. I feel like I haven't even really talked to you guys. The last time you guys saw me and like we talked, ah oh man, I don't even know where I was. Honestly, it's just been, oh. I've been like, you know, I've been on the, this road trip for a while now. Is it over a month or something? It's been a while. And yeah, I just like, I have probably one day a week where I would get homesick and then the following day I would get over it and then I got homesick a couple days ago and I realized that I wasn't overcoming it <laughs> and I was very confused just making sure she's still filling up and then I was like man I want to be home for the holidays so bad yeah I was supposed to camp and spend some time in like Baltimore in like you know downtown DC and like stuff like that but the nights are um you know 15 degrees 10 degrees a couple nights are 20 degrees and it's just it's below freezing temps and I did not bring any winter gear like whatsoever we had a I went to a thrift store for this I brought sweatpants but like no like really t-shirts or hoodies uh, I mean 
yeah i i messed up on that portion for sure so i was super limited and i have two hours of driving left to do right now it's midnight and i'm gonna keep going i really really think i can make it home tonight the game plan was not to leave but i think when you're on road trips what i've realized is you have your fun and then the second like it clicks you're like okay i'm going home and it's just like that like you don't spend a couple days like oh maybe i should go home it's like I literally woke up from a four hour nap that I took in a parking lot of a Panda Express and looked down and I was like, oh, I have eight and a half hours left of driving. I'm gonna do it right now. <laughs> and it just, that's just how it works. I wish it didn't, but it, it you know, it does. I, I didn't really have a game plan of when I was going to be home, but I'm in like New York City-ish right now. I think I'm very close to the border of Connecticut, like maybe 10 minutes away from the border of Connecticut. So we're like a state and a half away from my home state of Rhode Island. It's been one hell of a trip, that's for sure. Like that is so painful that it's just still going up. Yep, 112, 113, 114. Code back at googansquad.com and um, help support the gas fund, baby. <laughs> Something that happened to me, we, we did that blue crab catch and cook and then I ended up driving all the way home right after. Really what happened was we did blue crab catch and cook, drove another two hours right after that and then stayed in a Cracker Barrel parking lot, slept for the night, woke up at like 5 a.m. and just kept driving. We ended up driving five hours or something and then we ended up in Richmond, Virginia, beautiful. And then I went to Panda Express, <laughs> got some food knocked out in the bed of my truck for four plus hours just fell asleep and i was planning on spending the night somewhere over there and still being on the road for like another week but then i just had this pit in my stomach and that's when i knew it was time to come home it was time to wrap up the trip and as much as i wanted to continue i have another trip brewing in my brain right now that i'm kind of mapping out that i'm really excited for so i knew it was time to come home for the holidays spend Christmas with the family, spend New Year's with the family, all that good stuff. But it wasn't the necessarily the way I was going to end this trip. I didn't really know how I was going to, but I didn't think it was going to be like this. I just ended up really homesick. I'm human. I was a month plus on the road by myself, so I don't blame myself. I never got a hotel this entire trip. So I was really like fully truck camping. And I miss my bed. I miss my family. I miss Lila. And it was the best reunion ever seeing Lila. She stayed up till 3 a.m. when I got home. And it was just, feels good to be back. Feels good to be with Sky, Lila, my family, everyone, friends, you name it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Very proud to put this one out for you guys. But with that being said, make sure you subscribe to the channel, especially if you made it this far in the video. Because we put out a lot of cool content and I don't want you to miss out on anything. Plus, welcome to the truck camping family. You're more than welcome. So we're going to end off the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I just appreciate you guys so much. Remember to go to GoodenSquad.com and use my code at checkout if you guys want to support the channel. It's code Becca. It's my name. It's kind of hard to forget. Save yourself 10% off. Support the channel. Future trips. The gas fund. All that stuff. That's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you beautiful people on the next one.